consent should not be something that will bridge the the role of medicine whenever someone is sick medicine is now there to save life <music> hello everyone and welcome back again to the channel how are you all doing hope you all are good hope you all are fine so we are putting a clear demarcation between faith and medicine today you know persons are trying to bring these things together faith and medicine and these are two different things that although they work side by side but it should not be brought together so faith is whatsoever you believe in maybe as a religion whatsoever you believe in is your faith why medicine is something that we give to maybe a sick person to regain wellness or something that we take to prevent infection and disease generally 20 to 30 percent estimated death in kids is as a result of parents or guidance trying to adhere to faith we are not saying or i am not saying you should not believe in whatsoever you believe in maybe your faith you should not follow your faith but i'm trying to let we know or let us know that there is a clear difference between these things medicine has come to help us in certain ways of life there are things that persons in the older generation never get that opportunity to persons in the older generation get to die because they are not adequate medicines they are not adequate medicines to supplement their life although they went with alternative medicine alternative medicine that i mean here is going for herbal medicines these are alternative medicines so back in the older days a lot of children left the mother earth because they were not adequate medications to supplement their life but now that we have adequate medication to some extent but if it is not a thing bridging some things let me bring an example here i know maybe persons who have worked in hospitals or persons who might be hearing all those things they are children who left the mother at because of shortage of blood they are children who need blood transfusion but some person's faith or their parents faith has come to breach this situation that you can't easily transfuse this blood to these children because it's against the faith of the parents so you cannot force yourself or impose this kind of thing on the children because it's now against their faith the faith of their parents so coming to something that i came across few days on insta there is a particular big nigerian pastor or a geo in nigeria and you can see his photo in his healthy state and the other photo in his disease state and persons are saying oh he's not the one it actually took me time to know that okay this is this person because i have to check the the nose and everything it took me a lot of time in fact i didn't believe it the first day i had to go back again the second day to like okay this is the wife but who is this person are you sure this is the person that i know so it took me time to actually identify this person and going to the comment section his followers are like no it can't be him it can't be him it can't be him i tried to figure it in different dimensions like why are the followers saying this can't be our pastor this can't be our man of god do you mean that pastors don't get sick the thing is that you have half faith in men of god this is still same thing that i'm i'm telling you demarcate faith and medicine whenever you have your faith in a man of god that oh i'm sick let me go to this man of god he will pray for me and i'll be fine i'm not saying that there are not illness or disease that a man of god will pray for you and you'll be fine that is your faith but there are some illness that you know me and you know that sincerely that prayers is not the solution to this prayers is not the answer to this the answer is going to hospital but that faith that we have already in the men of god in the pastors will take that person to the pastor and the pastor will lay hands and pray and they tell you that this person is healed you believe that because that is your faith whatsoever that happens after it's now maybe we say the will of god but I'm, i i can tell you that's not the will of god because there are some illness that are 
are meant for you to go to the hospital not you going to prayer places I'm, I'm not saying don't go to prayer places so coming to the place of this pastor coming back to what I'm talking about concerning this pastor a lot of his followers are saying oh this is not our pastor this is a pastor that prayed for us we get healed of stroke of this or that or that yes he can pray for you you can get fine but let me tell you guys the simple truth in as much as we are humans the pastor is also a human being blood flows in his vein it's not acid that flows in there so definitely his body is going to break down her body is going to break down i keep on telling us that this body is a machine it can break down any day at any point so if their system breaks down how do you think that they can come and tell you that oh i'm sick these are same persons that when you're sick you go to them and they pray for you you get fine these persons you should not expect them to come and open up and tell you oh i'm sick many of them goes to advanced countries and take um, medicines and go through medical therapies and they will be fine but we we believe in them by them laying hands on us and we'll be free it still comes back to what i'm telling us let there be clear demarcation between faith and medicine these are two different things whatsoever you believe in whatever you believe on it's fine to believe in something it's very okay to believe in something but whenever it is time for medicine to play its role allow medicine to play its role there are persons who leave the mother out because of negligence and which is not supposed to be so because we have medicine to supplement our life currently unlike back in the days where there was not lots of medicine and they believe in their faith then and also alternative medicines which alternative medicine helped them to some extent but now we have adequate amount of medicine adequate amount of medical therapies but we still believe in our faith i still want to tell us that faith plays its own role medicine plays its own role you should not believe in pastors i'm not telling you don't believe in your pastor i'm not telling you don't believe on your imam i'm not telling you to not to believe on your habilist or some or anything but i'm trying to tell you these persons are human beings like we they are human beings like you they are human beings like me their body can break down anytime and they can go for medicine they can go to hospitals and get themselves treated you as an individual you know that okay this person is sick and this person needs to be taken to the hospital take that person to the hospital faith should not be something that will bridge the the role of medicine whenever someone is sick medicine is now there to save life medicine is now here to save life we should not let go medicine because of our faith although it depends on you as an individual but i'm coming to tell you the clear difference between your faith and medicine and every time this thing needs to play its role it should be allowed to play their role whenever you feel faith should play its role then fine it should play its role but when medicine when it's time for medicine to play its role let medicine play its role it is very very important and we should have this clear difference between everything men of god get sick women of god get sick prophet and prophet they all get sick even you as a human you get sick so whenever you're sick you know that okay this at this point i need to go to the hospital please do go to the hospital avoid okay story that touches the heart by saying this person's pray this person pray for me and i will get fine it's okay they will pray for you and you get fine but whenever it's time for you to take medical advice please do so this is it for me guys and if you've been watching me up till now and you've not subscribed to the channel kindly consider subscribing to the channel hit on the bell icon beside it and click on also you get notified whenever i post a new video here and you're coming across me for the first time my name is blessed i'm a nigerian living in india see you guys in my next and upcoming videos for now bye